my darlings not good morning this is probably the most disheveled that i have looked starting a vlog in quite some time but it is friday afternoon and we have actually just got back from a lovely dog walk over to the pumpkin patch i wanted to go yesterday when we had glorious weather but time ran away with me so we just went over to the pumpkin patch i couldn't talk to you while we were there because it is seriously windy and blusterous out there a very typical autumnal afternoon where you just want to be inside in a cozy knit with the fire on but we wanted to go out and just take a few video clips and a few photos of the pumpkin field to spread the word about it before she officially launches um people being able to go and pick your own pumpkins next week she's growing some really sorry from It'll be open from when you are watching this video in case you have any Cotswolds trips planned between now and Halloween. Um, she has grown some amazing, really gnarly pumpkins, really warty, kind of bobbly ones. And I think I might go down again in the morning with a wheelbarrow to actually buy some, pick some and buy some to do my autumn porch if I have got time tomorrow. If not, I'll do it on Sunday. <laughs> Took the boys with us. Dexter and Dickens did not love the pumpkin field. I think it's a little bit spiky on the vines on their little paws. So Dickie just kept sitting down and waiting for mummy to go and rescue him. Um, but now that we are back in the safety and the warmth of the house, I am going to make a pumpkin loaf. Look at my bunny, <laughs> precious boy. Yes, I have got some actual pumpkin flesh left over from when we chopped up the pumpkin yesterday for the risotto. So I, if I've got all the ingredients, I haven't actually checked, hopefully I do, I'm gonna make a Thermomix sweet pumpkin bread. Kind of like a banana bread, but with pumpkin. <laughs> Well, it is nothing short of a small miracle, but I happen to have all the ingredients needed for the pumpkin loaf. So it's going to be a quite nutty loaf because I just love a nutty banana bread and I think it'll be the same for a pumpkin bread. So I've got some walnuts and some almonds. I'm adding plenty of cinnamon because I just absolutely love it and it's such a lovely warming autumnal flavor. Two eggs, banana. I've got my pumpkin in here. Of course, I'm using my white ghost pumpkin. So it is white flesh and not orange. Brown sugar, self-raising flour and wholemeal flour. I only have wholemeal bread flour and not wholemeal self-raising. So it might be a little bit thicker. So I might add a tiny bit more of the Actually, no, I'll add a little bit of baking powder. Um, it is a Thermomix recipe, so I am using the Cookie Do app. I'm gonna follow these instructions, and apparently, this will only take me 15 minutes. We shall see. What have you just unboxed, darling? Oh, I have unboxed. Um, it's signature, it's called a signature diffuser, mm -hmm. and it's from 100 Acres. I love the uh, the reeds. They're like um, yeah. driftwood. Well, you said, I'll, I'll be honest, initially I was a bit, I was a bit nonplussed about them because <laughs> we've now we've just put one in our bathroom, mm -hmm. and but actually you are right they're a bit different and they look really nice once they're in the lovely green diffuser bottle. Lovely. So we obviously love the diffusers from Dalesford, which mm. are also very natural mm. and botanical. But those of you that are familiar with Straw Top know that we have a hundred acres in Straw Top, which is a local Cotswold founded brand. We love it. Um, and we love supporting local brands. So yep. this is their new diffuser range. At the moment, I think they do primarily just soap and hand lotion and like a body wash. And, and shampoo and oils. conditioner. Yeah, so this is a bit of a step away from that. They have candles. Of course, their candles are amazing actually. Mm. But yeah, so we're super excited to try this. And the Lovely. nice thing is it comes with the refill, or we've got the refill bottle, so obviously you can just top it up every now and again. Great, where are we going to put that one? Well, this one is going to go straight to Straw Top, just okay. in the bathroom. Lovely. So we did take a lot of people's advice, and we haven't got the diffusers throughout the cottage, because obviously some people are sensitive to strong smells, but I think in the bathroom it's nice just to have that, so when you walk into Straw Top's bathroom, it smells really lovely. Obviously, if anyone does have allergies to this, they can let us know before the stay. And then we're just moving one. But yes, lovely. really lovely. Gorgeous. Love the design of the bottle. So thank you to 100 Acres for this lovely gift on a Friday. Topping us, us up.
darlings up in the dressing room and the cake is in the oven i don't use the aga for cakes like this because that is going to be in the oven for 60 to 70 minutes which is a long time and the aga temperature can be a little bit variable so didn't want to take the risk uh so it's in the oven i have been addicted to ginger lemon and honey tea today i've done about 10 million covid tests definitely not covid but since singapore i have had a very annoying recurring tickle in my throat you know the kind of tickle that makes you want to go <coughs> just the most pathetic little cough in the world but just to like vibrate <laughs> your throat and this tea is very oh bitter <laughs> very soothing um yeah so i've got an hour now until um my cake will come out of the oven although i've just been messaging scarlet and it's um charlie's sister and it's charlie's brother's 30th birthday party tomorrow and scarlet is making some cupcakes but um we don't have an actual cake yet so i was thinking because we are having a little bit of a kind of mexican celebration tomorrow one of george's passions is um Mexico so I thought maybe I would do a courgette and lime cake because I have got limes growing on the tree and courgettes growing in the kitchen garden so I might whip together one of those seeing as we are in the swing of things um, and I thought also I might just have a think about what I'm going to wear for the party tomorrow it's going to be really fun and colorful so I'm going to have a little look around my wardrobe however before I do that I have to give a huge shout out to the leggings <laughs> excuse me that I have been wearing today and just all the time basically you may not have heard of this brand um so I'm very excited to introduce it to you it's called Fanka F-A-N-K-A and I was just on the website looking at this particular pair of leggings and they are like the leggings of the future so let me read you some of the epic facts about these leggings so first of all they're 3D printed which of course it's good for minimizing fabric waste which is a big gold star but it gives the perfect compression and shape to every part of the body so they are of course high-waisted because i do not wear leggings that aren't high-waisted i find them so uncomfortable and so flattering whereas these are super comfortable and super flattering this is like fairly um quite feels quite solid you know it feels quite solid like shapewear but not uncomfortable you know that i do not like anything compressing me here because i find it super painful um but these are very very comfortable they also are very i would say i would say booty flattering which is great no panty lines i have to say they're also a very good thickness i don't like it when if you which i often do like sit with your legs up um i don't like it when they start to go sheer in places in fact i just always think that leggings when they start to look sheer look a little bit um not so nice and these are like thick thick leggings they always look black and you can't see anything through them silver skin treatment with polygenes to help control odor and sweat absorption rate of nearly twice that of cotton fibers antimicrobial material is extremely soft to touch butt lifting and tummy control design yes i would totally agree with that Give your booty a lift. The fabrics offer a stretch recovery rate of 75 to 95% compared to other fabrics which offer 65% um, stretch recovery. Again, <laughs> I should have worn these on the flight because if you are the kind of person that does sit cross-legged or with your knees tucked underneath you, like I was saying about my gorgeous but very annoying cashmere um, leggings, they get like a pouch on the knee after I sit in them and these just spring back sports support enhancing the stretch of the f strength of the fabric 3d printing two in one design oh yeah two in one design yes i am a leggings fan girl over here but i know that when i spoke about a certain pair of <laughs> leggings like si similar ish not as good as these last year i had the tummy support leggings from amazon you guys loved them and every time i linked them they sold out so i thought as soon as i started realizing how amazing these were i knew that i had to tell you about them completely plain a stay put waist with no rolling down with 24 hour wear pet hair free leggings oh my gosh <laughs> that's actually a miracle i have been out in the fields i have been snuggling with dexter and dickens on the sofa and our sofa 
is covered in dog hair. We're not precious about the dog staying on the sofa with us. And yes, my leggings have remained dog hair free. Guys, it's the simple things in life, but if you love a good pair of leggings and just want one that ticks all the boxes, feel like we found them. So I hope you um, check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, I came up here to just refresh my makeup because I feel a little bit, you know, when you've had your makeup on all day. My current favorite lip balm is the Yarrow, Yarrow Lip Chic from Shantikai. It is so balmy. Ah, oh, gosh, it was pouring with rain when I first started chatting to you. And now it looks like the sun is coming back out again, which is great, because I need to go and get my courgette and my lime. This arrived the other day, a lovely mail from um, Clay de Poe, and it is their new highlight, and it is serious highlight. Like, you do not need much of this at all. I almost like don't even know how to apply it because it's so can't believe it's less blue skies again now. That weather is crazy. Maybe I should take this with me for the party tomorrow. I can be glowing. Right. What to wear? Aside from my love of leggings chat, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to catch you up on. Another little beauty shout out. I have been loving gradually tanning myself with the Vita Liberata Fabulous Gradual Tanning Lotion. I've put some of this on this morning and I just feel that at this time of year especially, um, it keeps my tan just ticking over with very little effort required. I have over the last um, couple of weeks received a few samples of beauty advent calendars. So I'd love to know how you guys are feeling about beauty advent calendars this year. Are you over them? Are you into them? Um, let me know if you'd like me to go through some of them because I can maybe share my favourites or ones which might be a bit of a rip off. So let me know if you'd like um, me to chat a little bit about those perhaps next week. There is actually something else that I wanted to give a bit of a shout out to that hopefully you guys will find interesting because I do, I do see comments on this every now and then but also when I was driving this morning I was listening to the Sherlux podcast and one of the questions um, that an audience member had sent in was how do the girls um, do at home teeth whitening or the question was best recommendations for teeth whitening and the girls didn't, the Sherlock's girls didn't really have an answer. They couldn't really agree on anything that they'd tried at home that worked. And the whole time I was listening, I was thinking, you guys clearly have not tried <laughs> the spotlight whitening strips and this epic new item, um, which I have been trying out for about a month now. And I'm not gonna lie, considering I have had my Invisalign, where is it? I left it downstairs. Yep. Oops, Daisy. I had some sweets, so I took it out. <laughs> Naughty. Sorry, I had to change my battery. Um, yes, and I have found that of all of the teeth whitening experiments, you could call it, trials that I have done at home, this one has made the biggest difference. I, I think this is literally the whitest my teeth have ever looked, and I've actually only used this three times. I took it with me to Singapore, and I used it there, um, and... Obviously, because it's by Spotlight, who I use for, I think I've shown you before, my gorgeous little pink toothbrush. <laughs> I've obviously got one in the bathroom, which is for every day, but this one I keep in its travel pouch. Um, and oh, I just think it's the most beautiful toothbrush in the whole world. I love how I'm telling you about leggings and tooth care. This is, this is the things that actually are important. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is the beautiful pinky rose gold toothbrush. I use it as my travel toothbrush in the pouch, really handy. Um, and then I've got, I've got their white one that I keep by the bathroom sink. I think I have a discount code for Spotlight, which I believe is Josie for 30% off full price pieces. But if that's not 100% um, correct, I will leave all the correct info in the description box down below. Anything that I ever mention in these videos, by the way, darlings, always check the description box down below because I'll always link everything. Um, and if I do have discount codes for anything, you'll find all of that info down below as well. So let me show you this. Um, because it's from Spotlight, I just trust that it'll be amazing. I trust it'll work. 
Spotlight is a female founded dental brand. The two ladies that founded it are professional dentists. Um, they have sustainability and quality products at the real core of their business. And I just adore everything that they stand for. They always come out with the most incredible tech. Ooh. Well, you got a little glip. No. You got a little sneak peek there as to how it works. So this is the professional, professional LED teeth whitening system. It comes in this very handy little travel pouch, which is how, which is how I was able to take it to Singapore with me. It uses LED nanotechnology like you know how I'm obsessed with my face mask, which Charlie has just pinched for regenerating the skin. They have figured out that this LED nanotechnology is also amazing for breaking down any stains on your teeth. So when paired with the PAP Pro teeth whitening strips, you get a bundle of these with the LED. It enhances how they work. You pop this into your mouth. I'm gonna do it in a minute because why not? Got a party tomorrow, so why not do a little bit of whitening? So it's 10 minutes of blue light and then I think it's five minutes of the red light and then you can leave the strips on your teeth for 15 minutes longer. The blue and red light enhances the effect and helps with the breakdown of any stains on your teeth. What I would normally do after taking off the strips is use a the teeth whitening pen, this also comes in the kit, and you can literally just like color in your teeth. This is also really good for top ups and you can buy this separately as well. So I think you'd be able to use my code just on this or on the full shebang or just on the strips. And you can obviously use it as and when you need it, but I would recommend when you first get this, do like a solid 10 days. It's so safe that you can actually use this every day for 10 days when you know that just shows how it's not damaging for your teeth. I have checked with my dentist and he was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So after all that chit chat, let's give it a go. And I've spoken about the power of LED technology before and how it's very, um, it basically, the cells kind of renew and repair themselves. The red light makes the cells think that they're damaged within your skin. I'm presuming it'd be the same with your gums because this has been shown to rejuvenate your gums as well. And again, with Invisalign, I feel like my teeth are going through quite a lot of stress at the moment. So this is just a great treatment to do in particular right now, but also afterwards. So yeah, red light within my facial products, you've seen me using the face, facial device so many times, I might even do a treatment later tonight, it helps the cells within the skin to kickstart their repair and renew. And I guess the same is happening with our gums. So generally a really good treatment to do to care for your teeth. So you wanna make sure your teeth are quite dry. I would usually get a flannel. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this on YouTube. Am I an oversharer or what? <laughs> <laughs> but we went, but we did 10 minutes on the blue light. I still got the strips on. Um, and then I pressed the button again and then did five minutes with the red light, which I have now done. Don't have any courgette left growing in the garden. So it's going to be a fairly experimental pumpkin and lime cake. But I thought while I, but I thought while it's sunny, I'm going to use one of my pumpkins and some of the dahlias from the cut flower garden to do a little pumpkin flower display while I wait for the remaining 15 minutes of having <laughs> my strips on. I think it is fairly self-explanatory but I found a little tutorial on a website here. Well, 
channel, my darlings. That took a grand total of 18 minutes the camera was filming for, and that includes faffing and filming time. Just remembered, I just realized I've forgotten to film a clip of putting the water in the bottom here. Um, I did just film it all for a TikTok, haven't posted on TikTok in absolutely ages, so I'm going to edit that up for a little seasonal TikTok. Definitely not my best work, um, but a great way of using up your pumpkins and any leftover dahlias. This one is probably my favorite, such gorgeous autumnal colors. Um, I have lined the pumpkin with foil and chicken wire to keep everything in place, and then secured at the top of the pumpkin in here for a little finishing touch. So hopefully this will last till tomorrow and it can be some nice table decoration <laughs> for George's party. So of course I filled my pumpkin with lots of beautiful dahlias, but they are quite expensive and if you don't have a garden full then you could definitely get some more affordable foliage like the beautiful skimmia, um, you could even put some tree branches in there, some preserved branches, but I think this would look great and quite autumnal and Halloween-y. I just came back down here, well you could also put some bits of hydrangea in there, that would look great. I need a couple of limes. I don't know if these are ripe or not, probably not because they're not coming off straight away in my hand like they should do. Okay, my darlings, so the main part of the whitening treatment is now done. I have taken off the strips and I have brushed my teeth to get rid of the kind of slightly stickyish residue. Now, just need to give this a little rinse and keep that safe until next time. And the finishing touch is with the whitening pen. And now I'm going to pop my Invisalign back in and go and make the courgette and lime cake. My overall feeling about this whole um, process is firstly, as you've just seen, super easy and not time consuming at all to do at home and just far more convenient and affordable than doing it in a salon and I personally find as effective if not more effective than salon treatments that I've had in the past albeit years and years ago um, but I actually see a difference with this my friends have been noticing, you guys have been noticing um, and even for someone that is using Invisalign it just fits in with my dental routine so I will leave it linked down below and I thought I would share that with you. Okay, let's go and bake some cake. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope darlings gosh what a beautiful start to the day I have got up bright and early to get over to the pumpkin patch before we head over to London for George's birthday later the pumpkin patch at Glebe farm officially opens today so I have bought my wheelbarrow and we're gonna go and pick some pumpkins for our autumn porch it is such a gorgeous day and this location is just spectacular look at these views <laughs> There we go, you can just about see the pumpkins in the distance there, they're going to be serving coffees, there's going to be lots of activities going on. Good morning! 
Well, I've started collecting in my wheelbarrow. I've acquired a little helper whose mum runs the field. There's so many fantastic gnarly ones. Oh, what have you found for me? Thank you very much. That's a good one. The noblier and gnarlier, the better. If you're going to come to the pumpkin patch, I would say definitely wear your wellies. Yeah? <laughs> Show me which one you found. Gosh, have you ever seen a pumpkin patch with such gorgeous views? I think it's open next weekend as well if you guys are watching this. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks good. We have even got a speciality coffee van. Look at this. Hazelnut, pumpkin, spice, caramel. Is that chai? Oh, ooh, salted caramel. Yum! What an amazing setup. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. We've got the dream team here today, Jack and Martin, who are going to be cutting down our wildflower meadow. And we have just found a few different stages of walnuts in the garden. We've got a lovely coffee and pumpkin bread I'm about to deliver over to Martin. Um, so I have a question for you guys. Obviously I would, sorry about my list, but I just put my brace back in. Obviously we'd love to be able to eat our walnuts at Christmas, but if you open them at the moment, they just look like this. So they're not fully ripe yet. So my question is, how do I protect my walnuts from the squirrels? There are so many in the bottom of the garden. Do I store them in the light? Do I store them in the dark? Do I need to bake them at this stage? So that my walnuts are ripe and ready for munching at Christmas time. If anyone's tried it before or has a walnut tree and knows what to do, let me know. <coughs> not a very glamorous place to catch up with you. I'm currently in the Waitrose Putney car park. Oh, did you hear my shoulder click just then? Um, so we have made it to Putney now, which is near where Charlie's brother George lives. It is his party tonight. We got stuck in so much traffic getting down here, which is such a shame because we wanted to help George and Petra set up for the party. And by the time we got there, they had 99% finished. So feeling really bad that we didn't get to help them set up. Um, but to make up for it, Charlie and I have ordered everyone an Honest Burger on delivery. Actually, Uber Eats. It wasn't available on, on, on delivery, which did cause a moment of panic. If you guys have been watching the vlogs since before we moved to the Cotswolds, I've got my bunny rabbits in the back, by the way, um, then you will probably remember that Charlie and I are obsessed. Obsessed isn't even strong enough a word for how we feel about Honest Burger. We love it and it is the number one thing as well as tied, tied number one with Milo and the Bull, the workout place that we used to go to that we miss about living in London. So every time where possible we come to London, we get Honest Burger delivery or we go to an Honest Burger restaurant. We love it. Um, so Charlie has just nipped in to Waitrose to get some icing for the cake that I'm doing later. Um, didn't have time to make icing at home and some limes for the cocktails later on today tonight rather. I just took a little clip on my phone which I'll show you here. This is the setting for the party later. It is on Putney Embankment. George is a member of the Putney, one of the Putney rowing clubs. Um, so we're using one of the rowing club spaces for the party which is going to be great fun but it's a gorgeous day. Not that you can tell from this car park. What do you think my boys? 
Dexy was a little bit car sick on the way here. So the car is a little bit fragrant. <laughs> Never mind. And I am literally wearing the darkest outfit that I have worn in a very long time. This is what I was wearing for the pumpkin patch earlier and I just did not have time to change but I love the colour of this roll neck. It is a Holland Cooper roll neck and on the camera it looks kind of chocolatey but I think it is actually fern green is the name of the colour. Um, but it's rather lovely and also this is such a bad place for me to let you guys know but if you already follow me on Instagram you may have seen that yesterday as I'm filming this I actually announced that I am officially the new Holland Cooper countryside ambassador which I could not be more excited about it is a brand that I have just fallen more and more in love with since we moved to the Cotswolds um, I would say that nearly every single one of my outfits now includes at least one item from Holland Cooper whether it's my gorgeous wellies or one of these gorgeous knits or a piece of outerwear um, so I could not be more excited to be working with them as an official ambassador and the countryside ambassador nonetheless such a dream come true so thank you for all the incredibly kind um, comments on the Instagram reel I'll leave a link down below in case you didn't spot it already um, it's also so lovely to see support from fellow influencers in the industry who have left such lovely notes under that video as well um, so yeah it is it just feels like the perfect collaboration for me so yeah in case you missed it that's the news anyway um, my arm is starting to ache and all I can think about is honest burger so I'll catch up with you guys later okay we made it I've got the fancy dress on and this is the beautiful setting for our party this evening look at this so if you join any rowing clubs in Putney this is your local spot and a little clip of the dress okay let's go and party had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach